the weather. It's so nice there. It's nice and warm all year round. You can wear shorts all year round. You don't have to have pants and sweaters and coats. And it's really nice. The hardest part Let's is go. being organized, trying to keep organized and trying to know what is what. Um, especially when you're moving across the United States. Um, we sold a lot of stuff, um, but still there's a lot of stuff that you have to pack. Um, we have to be ready tomorrow by 8 a.m. for the movers. And all they do is they're going to move our boxes and our furniture. So we have to have everything packed and ready to go. Stop. Oh my God. I mean, I only have one more year, senior year. I don't know, I mean, I'm gonna graduate early in December, so, I mean, I'll be able to visit my mom once I graduate. Oh, I think at first it'll be hard because things are definitely gonna be different. They're not gonna be the same. And now I have to drive from Round Lake in the morning, so I have to get up earlier. And uh, there's gonna be a lot of different changes. It's just not gonna be the same. If you did a water interview with me, it'd be X-rated. take the boxes and put them in a truck so they can bring them to Arizona. I talked to Dan this morning and he said he was on his way. I told him we took the, now I don't know what you guys wrapped that in, but I just put a comforter on it for now and yeah, you can, yeah, really yeah well we did that because we took the legs off and I, I wrapped up the legs and everything like that. Yeah. I'm actually tired. My legs hurt, my back hurt. I have no appreciation for movers. I had no appreciation for construction workers. Now I have it for movers. Oh well, life does disappoint one. No, no, none of that's going. Okay. None of that. None of this. Is... Cool. Yeah. yeah. You ready for this? Uh, I'm trying to. You're gonna miss it, Illinois. Yeah. yeah. I used to live out in Colorado for nine years, so. Oh, okay. That's but nice. Ended up back though. I can't be serving beer this early in the morning. That's not a good idea. No. I mean, I can't tell you how many times you walk go. You know, third floor walk up in Chicago and you knock on the door and the old Polish man says, Oh, movers, yeah, you want a beer? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, right. Yeah. I, I always say, after you move my stuff, you can drink all you want. <laughs> well, you have a safe trip out there. Okay, thank you. And I'll probably see you later today. Yep. Yeah. We'll meet you in Litchfield Park. <laughs> we have to stop filming because movers don't like being taped on film. I don't like it, so they're taking my girls away. It's horrible, yeah. I don't like people that I get to know and I like to leave. It's just not right. Uh, 
out today. We have to get everything out of the house. And it has to be entirely empty. And they have to be out of the house by 9 o'clock because that's when the new people come. Days ago, I really wanted to move because I thought maybe, I don't know, like I miss a lot of things about my mom, like living with your dad, you don't have your mom always, like, you know, girl things, like she would always wake me up in the morning, she'd always take me shopping for clothes, like I talked to her about like boys and stuff, and like my dad is just like, okay, whatever, you know, like, I don't know, I just can't talk to my dad like I could talk to my mom, and sometimes I just want to move there because I miss her a lot. I'll die without her. Seriously. I'll lock myself in my room and I won't eat or anything. And I can tell her anything. It's not like I can just go up to some random person on the street and start telling her my emotions. We're so much alike. It just makes me feel better. Day of my life. I swear I was born right in the doorway. I went out in the rain, suddenly everything changed. They're spreading blankets on the beach. Yours is the first face that I saw.